and as Judy Collins and all her wails and nightingales fade off in the distance, I'm sipping my first cup of tea of the night. It's 18 minutes after 2 o'clock. I was farewell to Taiwasi and Judy Collins. Wish You Were Here, we heard from Pink Floyd's new album, which is, I think, number one in the country right now, as far as sales go. We heard I Will Be There from Van Morrison's St. Dominic's Preview, which has reappeared at WVBR. It has been missed for about eight months, I think. About time. And we started off with Dream With Me, John Nayall from Back to the Roots. It's 60 degrees, and it's supposed to be really nice weather again tomorrow. Today was incredible. I think it got up to 78 at one point. Anyway, on with more music. WDDR with Carrie Ann, Graham Nash, and the Hollies. And we heard Pure and Easy from Pete Townshend, an oldie from the Rolling Stones, Walking Through the Sleepy City, and Easy to Get On from the Flying Burrito Brothers. It's um, 27 minutes before 3 o'clock. Cornell Folk Song Club presents Friends of the Fiddler's Green in concert. They'll have plenty of good Irish, Scotch, and English music, and there's bound to be a good time for all. That's Saturday, November 1st, at 8.30 in the Memorial Room of Cornell's Willard Strait Hall. Admission is $1.25 for folk club members and $1.75 for all others. While we're on the subject of folk music, Doc Watson put out a great album this summer called Memories. Most of his favorite songs. One of my favorites off it is Moody River. The Beatles. Mother Nature's Son. We heard a lovely day, or a song called A Lovely Day. It was a lovely day today. From Gil Scott Heron and Brian Jackson. They have a new album out called The South, From South Africa to South Carolina. And it's a fine album. Very fine album. I listened to it yesterday. Many a Mile to Freedom was before that, from Traffic. We started off with Moody River, Doc Watson. I'm Jamie Wall. I'll be with you all night until 6 o'clock. Right now it's 10 minutes of 3. I've got music now from the Tower of Power. One, two, three, four! WVBR FM Ithaca. I Feel Free from Cream. And we also heard On the Way Home, Buffalo Springfield, something new from the Ozark Mountain Daredevil called If I Only Knew, Vicious from Lou Reed, and Drop It in the Slot from the new Tower of Power album. It's five minutes after three o'clock in the morning. I haven't done a show at this hour since March, near the middle of March of this year. And the time before that was exactly a year ago tomorrow night. It was my second show on WVBR. And I did it with two other people, and we had a great time talking to each other and playing songs, each other's favorite songs. And I happened to be wearing the same clothes. I even remember that, that I was wearing then. And I changed the subject completely. If you're unhappy with the mail service, there's a new consumer service program designed to help you bring complaints to the attention of the post office, which is a good idea. From now on, consumer service cards will be available from your mail carrier and your local post office. You just fill it out and mail it to your postmaster. The U.S. Post Office welcomes all your comments and suggestions, etc. And it's 61 degrees, an evening after a really beautiful day, and it's supposed to be nice again tomorrow. Just had a call from a fellow Dan Hicks nut. And this is called The Walking One and Only, to comply to him. It looks as though Prince Juan Carlos will be taking over in Spain soon. Even if Generalissimo Francisco Franco recovers from the heart attacks which have incapacitated him, sources say he's on his way out. Secretary of State Kissinger is on his way home from Tokyo to report to President Ford on his China trip. He stopped in Tokyo to tell Japanese leaders, Chairman Mao, and is very much in control in China. <laughs> President Ford is still taking it easy because of his sinus cold. He has a busy week ahead and is resting up so he can meet with Egyptian President Sadat and travel to California. 
and Patricia Hurst can have the psychiatric treatment her lawyers say she needs. But a judge ruled Thursday that the treatment must be done in jail. The weather tomorrow will be mainly clear and sunny, high in the 70s again, and 0% chance of rain. It's 61 degrees at 15 minutes past 3 o'clock. For the songs we just heard, Dan Hicks, Walking One and Only, then Paul Simon, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover from his new album, Still Crazy After All These Years. And right now we're listening to Chuck Mangion, who will be at the Unicorn, I think at the end of this weekend. And it's now officially Friday morning, the 24th of October. Jamie Wool with you on WVBR-FM. The Eagles, and one of these nights. Even though it was played almost to death this summer, it's still nice to hear from the album of the same name. I'd love to see the Eagles in concert. I've seen them on TV. When they put people on TV on concerts on Friday nights late, whenever they put them on, they only usually show them singing about three songs. It's not really satisfying enough. I can't really say, you know, what they're like in concert after three songs. I heard something from Fanny. I don't know what happened to Fanny. They haven't been around for a while. This is from their album, Charity Ball. We heard You're the One. And Reasons for Waiting from Jethro Tull's stand-up album. And we heard Today, Afternoons, from the Jefferson Airplane. It's 3.32 in the morning. And if you're hungry, I've got an idea here for you. What are you doing? Okay, I'll buy you a coffee, too. I'll get my hammer. The University Deli in College Town. Ten-cent coffee, 24 hours a day. Yep, and College Town's finally closed down, I guess, after Midnight Madness. That was fun tonight. Didn't have much money, but I enjoyed looking at all the sales. Didn't buy too much. The girl on that commercial was Cindy Bailey, who will be in here at 6 o'clock in the morning to wake the world. Or Ithaca, at least. I'm Jamie Wall, and this is Dave Mason from his latest album, Split Coconut. <laughs> West Wind. That was Rick Roberts from his second album. And not only is he a very fine performer, he's really nice to talk to. Met him last year with the Unicorn. He said he's got a new group called Firefall, and they should have an album out. Or at least that's what he said last. It was it March, April. Oh well, Rick Roberts. And my favorite Jerry Jeff Walker song was before that, L.A. Freeway. And we started off with Dave Mason, You Can Lose It which is pretty reminiscent of his old stuff. It's on his new album, Split Coconut. It's quarter to four in the morning. Jamie Wall with you. And I usually wonder what's keeping you up right now. Someone just called up and asked for a song called I'm Not In Love, and I hope she's really not feeling that bad. It's by 10CC. The Climax Blues Band. I'd say with this album, they're going to get popular. It's called the Stamp Album, and that was Using the Power. We heard Just Crazy Love from Fleetwood Mac, and something from David Buskin's first album, It Will Come to You Again. Sort of an answer to I'm Not in Love. It's two minutes after four o'clock, and you're listening to WVBR FM in Ithaca. Jamie Wall with you. And for a long time, I've wanted to play this song, because it's called Four O'Clock in the Morning, and it's been a long time since I've been on the radio at four o'clock in the morning. Here it is, Jesse Colin Young. Enough of that depressing music. I don't. I hope no one's that depressed at four in the morning. Gonna do something. Let, let's wake up. Jay Giles Band. Hey everybody, it's dance time. Country Joe McDonald, without his fish, but with uh, Save the Whales. I mean, Country Joe, and we heard Lay Down. You must remember that when Melanie Safka wrote that, and that was Martha Hoople from the Wildlife album. And we heard Fancy Footwork, Jay Giles, and Four in the Morning from Jesse Colin Young. It's now 4.20 in the morning, and you're with VBRFM. I've got an album here called Commoner's Crown, which is Steel Eyes Spans' latest album. 
and uh, this is a song called Demon Lover, which was one of the best songs I remember this summer. Bruce Springsteen, cover of Newsweek. Wow, little kid from Asbury Park, whose record I used to love. Well, I was a little late, 1973. I really liked his first album, and still like it, and like the other ones, too. That was Thunder Road from Born to Run. We heard David Blue, and this is from his latest album, Coming Back for More. We heard Who Love, and Demon Lover from Steel Eyes Fan. It's now 26 minutes before 5 o'clock. If you like Apple festivals... Wait, hold on a minute. I gotta get the phone here. Hold on a minute, please, okay? Thank you. The annual Brooktondale Apple Festival will be held Saturday, October 25th, from 2 to 5 p.m. That's this weekend, Saturday. It's going to be held at the Brooktondale Community Center in Fire Hall. The Apple Festival is a country fair featuring home-baked apple pies, fresh-pressed cider, craft goods, and quilting and other demonstrations in progress. The special attraction this year is the Promised Land String Band, who will play bluegrass music all afternoon. So take an autumn drive. Actually, you can't really call it autumn. It's been beautiful. It's 75 degrees today and tomorrow. But anyway, the annual Brooktondale Apple Festival is going to be held this Saturday at the Brookton Community Center in Fire Hall. Jamie Wall with you on VBR. It's 59 degrees right now, but that's okay. It's the middle of the night. This is Simon and Garfunkel. Poem on the Underground Wall. Sea Train from their first album with Willing Lowell George's song. And by the way, Little Feet is supposed to be coming out with an album any day. We heard Rockin' All Over the World from John Fogarty and Stranger in a Strange Land from Leon Russell. We began, let me see, with Poem on the Underground Wall from Simon and Garfunkel. It's nice to hear them. They're not really back together, but it's nice to hear each of their new albums. I like both of them. It's now twelve and a half minutes before five o'clock, and I keep pouring and re-pouring my tea to keep me up. Not sure what you're doing up now, but I'm glad to have you with me on WVBR. Playing that um, song, Willing, reminded me, of course, of Linda Ronstadt's very fine version. No, I'm not going to play it. I'm going to play something from her new album, Prisoner in Disguise. It's a beautiful tune that she does along with Maria Moldauer called You Tell Me That I'm Falling Down. Let's listen to it. And I'll be leaving too when I see the morning sky, but not because I'm angry, like Dan Fogelberg, because I'm tired. And Cindy Balin will be in in just about an hour to wake everyone up. Except us, who will be asleep, I hope. We also heard We All Sung Together, Niels Lofgren and his group Grin, and You Tell Me That I'm Falling Down from Linda Ronstadt. Women of all ages and talents are invited to come share their writing, photography, music, and any talents they might have in the arts at Women Out Loud, Wednesday, November 5th, next week, at 8 p.m. in the Ithaca College Crossroads. Men are also invited to participate. You're not excluded. Come help create a cohesive, ongoing community of women artists sharing their work and experience. Sounds like a very good idea. If you'd like some more information about Women Out Loud, contact Alyssa at 272-2996. Right now, it's a minute and a half before 5 o'clock. You're listening to WVBR-FM Ithaca, and I'm Jamie Wolf with some music by a woman named Ursula Dudziak. She's married to Michael Urbaniak, and she is one of the fastest singers I've ever heard. This is an example. It's called Papaya. This is Red Horse Mescalito. Panama Red, from the New Riders of the Purple Sage. And we heard Ursula with Papaya. Good morning, it's five minutes after five o'clock. And uh, it's going to be a nice day today. The temperatures will be getting up into the 70s again, or so they say. And there's a 0% chance of rain. Jamie Wall with you on BBR. This is Gordon Lightfoot, Can't Depend on Love. That last tune reminded you a lot of The Doors. 
He has good ears. So that was the Butts Band, which includes X Doors, Robbie Krieger, and John Densmore. We heard a cut called I Won't Be Alone Anymore. And ahead of that was Gordon Lightfoot from his album Old Band's Records. We can't depend on love. It's 14 minutes after 5 o'clock in the morning. It's 59 degrees, but it should be getting up into the 70s today. Got a bit of news here. Secretary of State Kissinger has left Japan on his way to Washington, where he's due to arrive tonight. Kissinger told the Japanese president Ford's upcoming in China will produce no major surprises. President Ford is still resting from the sinus cold, which has been bothering him for the past few days. His doctor refused him permission to take a dip in his heated outdoor pool yesterday. Poor Ford. Ford hopes to get in a swim today, though. And Oklahoma City has extra forces on the street. Highway patrolmen called into action when about 500 police officers went on strike over a pay dispute. Farmers around Bakuda, Kentucky are harvesting soybeans early, trying to save some of the crop from the Ohio River waters which are flooding low-lying areas. You're listening to VBR, music of a group called Nucleus from their album Snake Hips, etc. It's very confusing. The film is called Pussyfoot. Carrie, Johnny Mitchell. I can't help but mention that the night was at Starry Dome last night. It was really beautiful. I haven't seen stars in Ithaca in quite a while. This is crazy for me. No, I know. It's not crazy. Maybe it is. This is Atlantic Rhythm Section. <laughs> One of my all-time heroes, Eric Anderson, is going to be in the Unicorn in just a couple of weeks, and I'm really glad about that. I haven't seen him, yes, since the Folk Festival, the first one at Cornell two years ago. That was Thirsty Boots, and we had the Water Song from Hot Tuna and Crazy, the Atlantic Rhythm section. <laughs> 